There's a new push tonight for pregnant women now to get the COVID vaccine. This is coming as at least one local hospital system says that it's seeing a rise in cases among moms to be. Brooke Katz is in our CBS and DFW studio tonight to give us a little better explanation on that. Brooke. And Doug Baylor, Scott and White says they are seeing more cases among pregnant women and more pregnant women needing hospitalization. Meanwhile, the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists is now recommending the vaccine for those who are pregnant or nursing. We spoke with one woman who was pregnant with COVID before the vaccine was available. She says she wishes that she would have had an option. It's really emotional because I didn't get to meet my baby until three weeks after he was born. It was just after Thanksgiving when Ceciliana Carrasco got sick with COVID-19. She was around 33 weeks pregnant at the time and ended up in the hospital. She remembers being told she had to be intubated. After that, she says it's a blur. I feel like I have PTSD over that because I'm replaying stuff that's constantly going through my mind because I still can't puzzle everything together that happened to me. She doesn't even remember the birth of her son, Ruben. He had to be born by himself. Like, he didn't get to have that, you know, like that mom and son moment. Or even my husband, he didn't get to see him right away. We're seeing more pregnant women in our ICUs uh, than we did back in January and February. Dr. James Hurd is the chief medical officer for Baylor Scott and White All Saints in Fort Worth. He's also an OBGYN. COVID can be complicated by itself, but he says pregnancy adds another layer. Women require a little bit more oxygen, a higher oxygen saturation to be able to uh, pass that oxygen on to the baby. And their lungs can't expand the same way. And so um, that paired with uh, extra fluid on board the more prone to get pulmonary edema and stiffer lungs and trouble ventilating. Dr. Hurd says the best precaution is vaccination. Thousands of uh, women that have been studied, no increased incidence of congenital abnormalities, no preterm labor. It could prevent you from dying from or being in where I was, you know, intubated and not even get it to meet your baby. It's a choice Carrasco didn't have when she asks other mothers to talk to their doctors about. Just do whatever's best for you and your baby. Don't listen to everybody else. Do what's best for you and your baby. A baby Reuben was born premature because of that situation, but both mom and baby are doing well now. Both Carrasco and her husband have since chosen to get the vaccine. And we have linked the recommendations from both the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, as well as the Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine. If you'd like to look at that, you can go to CBSDFW.com and click on links and numbers. All that information is there for you. Doug. Yeah.